Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'd like to help you better understand the differences between an HDMI adapter and an HDMI splitter. Because even though both of these devices are used with HDMI products, they operate very differently and it's easy to get them confused. So I'd like to start with a basic understanding of what an HDMI adapter provides versus what an HDMI splitter provides. And then I'll actually do a couple of demonstrations to show you how these products work and where you may use them in your own media setup. So to begin with, an HDMI adapter is a device that's typically connected to a computer that allows you to extend your desktop to a second, or in this case, even a third monitor. And that can be really beneficial because a lot of times you're working on multiple programs, and even though you have a nice widescreen monitor, it's difficult to fit all of those programs on that monitor at the same time. So having a device like this that connects up to your computer through either a USB-C or a USB-A connection and allows you to extend that desktop to several other monitors gives you a lot more screen real estate where you can move those programs around and have plenty of space to see everything you need to see. An HDMI splitter, on the other hand, is a device that will actually take a single HDMI media stream and allow you to display that at the same time on two separate monitors. So it effectively replicates that same HDMI signal on two different monitors at the same time. Now this is typically used when you're involved with maybe a media device that you want to show on two different monitors. Maybe it's a public setting where you've got widescreen monitors set up and you're running some kind of video in the background and you want that to be seen on multiple monitors. This is the exact right device to do that. But the big difference between them is that an HDMI adapter like this product extends a desktop from a computer between two different monitors. Here, it doesn't extend a desktop. All it does is duplicate the HDMI media stream that comes into the device and puts that same exact imaging on both of the monitors connected to it. Now, if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is a quick demonstration showing you how you can use an HDMI adapter to extend your desktop and how you can use an HDMI splitter to duplicate an HDMI signal between two monitors. In this first demonstration, I'll show you how an HDMI adapter through a single connection allows you to extend your desktop to multiple monitors, which greatly increases your screen real estate and allows you to open multiple applications at the same time in large windows so you can easily organize your work while still providing complete control over where those application windows are displayed on all the monitors that are connected. Now in front of me, I have the laptop I use for most of my work when I'm away from home, and it has a fairly small screen on it. It's only a 15 inch screen. And when I'm home, I like to extend it to external monitors so I can open multiple applications at the same time, which makes it really easy if I'm copying numbers from a spreadsheet into an email, or I'm cutting and pasting maybe a URL from a web page and sending it along to a friend. I have monitors set up on either side of me, and these are typically the size of monitors I use, and I have the HDMI adapter right here. Now you'll notice on the one end, there's a USB connection on a flexible cable, and the native connection is a USB-A, but there's an adapter as well that'll convert the USB-A to a USB-C connection. Both of these work fine, and you can plug this into any available port on your laptop or your home computer to extend your desktop to external monitors. So I'll plug this in to an available USB-C port on the side, and the minute I do, you can hear that Windows recognize that external peripheral and all the power required for that HDMI adapter is sent over that same connection in addition to the desktop information that'll be shared across these monitors. And now I can connect up the external monitors. I'll plug one into the HDMI output port number one and the second one into the output port number two. And the minute I do that, the adapter will recognize the external monitors. It'll make whatever adjustments are needed to give me the best possible pictures. Now, this particular model has two outputs. One is a 1080p output. The other is 4K at 30 frames a second. So when you're plugging your monitors in, if they're different resolutions, always plug your best monitor into the 4K at 30 frames a second port. Now, if I want to extend my desktop, you'll notice both of these monitors are really an extension of this desktop. There are no icons or programs open there, but if I have programs open on my main screen, it's really easy for me to move those around. For example, I've got a Word document open here. Let me send it over to one screen. I'll send it to the second screen. Then I can send it back to my main desktop. So you can see already that I've moved a Word document over to this screen, and I can work on that while I'm working something on my main screen and even something else over here. So for example, if I have a picture, maybe I want to send this picture over to one of the screens. There we go, it's over there. If I'm going to move it to the other screen, now it's over there, and now it's back on my main screen. So you have complete control over where the program windows reside on the monitors that are out there, but you can already imagine by extending your desktop 
to multiple monitors, you have a lot more room to work. And when you're working on programs that are hard to see when the windows are really small, you can bring them up in full screen mode, put one over here, put one over there, and keep one on your main desktop. And it just makes it really easy for you to work with all of those programs open at the same time. Now, the big difference between the HDMI adapter, which I'm showing you now, and the HDMI splitter is that this one extends your desktop actively to the external monitors. The splitter will just take your desktop and mirror that to two other monitors. So it doesn't extend your desktop, it just mirrors whatever HDMI stream is seen on the input to two outputs, and I'll show you that next. In this next demonstration, I'd like to show you how an HDMI splitter can take a single HDMI media stream and send that to two different HDMI output devices at the same time. And again, what's different between the HDMI splitter I have in front of me and the HDMI adapter I just showed you is that the adapter can extend the desktop of any computer it's connected to among all the monitors. The splitter can only mimic the input HDMI media stream to both of the output devices simultaneously. It can't extend the desktop. Now for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor. And let's pretend for a second we're at a trade show and I'd like that display to be mirrored over here so I can show it on multiple monitors at the same time. That's exactly what an HDMI splitter is designed to do. Now I have the splitter in front of me and the first connection I'll make is from my media device to the HDMI input. And I'll disconnect it from the monitor, standard HDMI connection, and plug that into the HDMI input port on the back of the splitter. And now I can connect my two output devices. I've got a monitor over here. I'll plug that into HDMI output number two. And the first monitor, I'll need a second cable. And I'll plug that into the back of the monitor. And the other end of that cable, I'll plug into HDMI output number one. And now we're all set to add power. Now, the nice thing about most splitters is that they're smart enough to recognize different resolution displays. So I'll add power to the unit. The first thing it's gonna do is run through a power on self-test and it's checking the output resolution of the displays versus the input resolution of the media source. It's making whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture on both monitors. It takes a second or two to go through that self-test and once it finishes it, it'll send the input media stream to both monitors at the same time. And there you go. So essentially what you've got is a single media stream that's being split to two output devices at the same time. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the differences between an HDMI adapter and an HDMI splitter helpful. Both of these devices are incredibly useful when you're working with HDMI products, but they operate very differently. The HDMI adapter allows you to extend a desktop from your computer to multiple monitors by simply plugging it in to USB-C or USB-A connection on your computer and then share your desktop across all of those monitors, giving you more screen real estate to be able to open more programs and work more efficiently. The HDMI splitter, on the other hand, will take a single HDMI media stream and allow you to display that simultaneously on multiple monitors. It's perfect if you have a media player that needs to be displayed on several monitors at a convention or a trade show, or you just want to share your screen with someone else, you can simply plug your media device into the unit and plug your monitors into the output and enjoy that content on both monitors simultaneously. These products are extremely effective in what they do, and I hope you found this review helpful. So until next time, thanks for watching.